Yo, welcome back. I was just in the menus checking out our social link progress. So we are at Devil Rank 9. Our topic today is the ethical problem of freedom of expression. A leading paper printed an apathy syndrome victim's picture without masking his identity and... It sounds like a breach of privacy. Dude, I think she's really cute. I bet there will be a ton of guys who's gonna get a crush on her. The way she walks, the way she talks. Dude, get the fuck over it, she's a goddamn robot. I gave Iga some winter clothes to wear so she's covered up. I hope she won't be too hot in them. If she wears summer wear, everyone will be able to see her mechanical arms, so... We decided she should wear winter wear. I don't think anyone will find that suspicious. I'm sure. When Aigis-san dresses like that, she looks like an older sister. Okay. I have a question, Makoto-san. Why can't Koromaru-san attend school? I do not understand why I'm permitted to go to school while Koromaru-san is not. Because he's a dog. Nowhere in the school regulations does it state that canines are permitted from attending school. My question remains unanswered. Alright, if you want to get technical about it. I told the chairman that Iga should come to school with us. I really couldn't think of any reason why she shouldn't. She's a fucking robot! What? And the chairman agreed. Jesus Christ, like where is the common sense here? I had nothing to do with this, alright? It was all Mitsuru. If anything happens at school, I'm not going to be held responsible for it. <sighs> what is Akutsuki-san thinking? Yeah, this is like a very shocking lack of common sense, especially by Mitsuru, who is supposed to be like the most rational and methodical thinking member of the, the party. Couldn't think of a reason for her to not go. She's a goddamn robot. <laughs> And, like, it, her robotic features are not particularly well hidden, even under the, the school uniform. Like, what the fuck? But, Japanese anime logic. They should just pass off her stuff on her, on her head as, like, a religious headdress wear. The other day, a woman came to my office asking for a donation. She was the kind of girl that men dream of, drop-dead gorgeous. But no matter how attractive she was, I was repulsed by her dedication to charity work. Are you going to donate? Of course not! I hate the very word! <laughs> Damn. So we offended him, but that was the correct answer. Why should I give my hard-earned money to a bunch of freeloaders? I pulled myself up out of squalor to get where I am today. In fact, I've earned the right to laugh at those who used to laugh at me. That's what I had always dreamt of, but to tell you the truth, now I have too much money. Profits are booming, but I'm so busy I don't have time to spend a dime. Maybe I should train someone to take my place. I could teach them my business philosophy and help them master my management techniques. I could create a carbon copy of me. It would probably cost me a fortune, but if it works, then I could sit back and relax in my massage chair. How about it? Want to become my successor? I'll even let you join the Tanaka family. Just kidding. People would think I'm a weirdo if I adopted a boy as old as you. Yeah, odd sense of humor, huh? Donate for the sake of the less unfortunate, eh? Wouldn't it be less fortunate, not less unfortunate? You're donating to people that are in better positions than you are? 
the fuck? Here, rich guy, here's an extra thousand. I I'm sure you need it. I wonder if that's a translation error or, like, the original script actually just fucked it up. Or that's just indicative of how he's kind of dumb. Although he's not really a dumb person, because... He clearly built up a business and knows how to manipulate people. Into giving him massive amounts of money. Although I guess you could be dumb and still be able to do that. Smart enough to hide it. Where he is able to keep it, I suppose. I see. This must be Tartarus during the daytime. Why would they not just all come to school together? Like, they're acting as though... And this happens throughout the whole fucking game, for the most part. Except for, like, I think rare occasions where you actually come to school with Junpei or some shit. But, like, how could this possibly happen? Uh, it's a school. I see. I shall record that in my memory bank. Unless they're, like, doing stuff before school, but... Like, on their own, like, going to a store or whatever. I guess that could be the logic, but I don't know. Generally, when I'm going to work, or when I was going to school, I just went straight there. We have a new student who will be joining us. She just transferred here. Please, introduce yourself. My name is Igis. I am pleased to meet you all. Igis. What a strange name. I wonder if she was born overseas. Let's see. Anything else I should know? Hmm. Humanoid tactical weapon. What on earth? Who the fuck would submit that as part of her paperwork? Unless she wrote that in. I'm meaning Igis. Clearly, that's a mistake. It just goes to show, you can't believe everything you read. You can sit uh, right over there, in that empty seat. Uh, Miss Toriyumi, that spot's already taken. He's just playing hooky. Which means he's not here. So it's free to be used, right? Move your feet, lose your seat. This spot will be perfect. Because I wish to always be by his side. I guess. Is there a problem? Um, Yukari, why are you standing up? And notice Yukari has an overt problem with what I guess is saying here. My, aren't we just full of drama today? Do me a favor and save the antics for after school. Hmm. I mean, it is weird for Igis to say, but... I don't know, something kind of... hints at that's not... Yukari's only problem... with what Igis said. We got a text. It's from Akihiko. I have something important to take care of after school. I want you to come. Ayo. Hey, I'll be waiting by the gate. Meet me there. Fucking Akihiko taking interest in our pleasure. He's a considerate lover. Now they call it an instant message. something I have to do, and I want you to come with me. Where are we going? We're going to get someone. An old member. What 
we're about to get another party member. Oh shit. Was that three in between this operation and the last one? You're getting on my nerves. The situation has changed. Sorry, but this time I'm not asking. What? This belongs to you. We have a new enemy. They're Persona users, like us. Yeah, so what? There's more. Ken Amada has joined our team. Hmm. What the hell are you talking about? He has the potential, and Akutsuki-san is okayed it. He's now a Persona user. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Let me ask you one thing. Was it his decision to join Seas? Yeah, he volunteered. I see. I said. Then count me in. So you're the one leading the operations now, huh? If you don't mind me asking, what exactly are you fighting for? Hmm. To protect someone. Is that so? Well, you do your thing, I'll do mine. My room still vacant. So Shinjiro finally agrees to join. Greetings. Oh wow, surprise nobody else has anything to say about that. Shinjiro Senpai seems scary, but I think he's just misunderstood. I don't think he's a bad guy. I mean, he's good friends with Akahiko Senpai. True, true, true. Shinjiro san kicks ass, man. With him back on the team, no one can beat us. That's the guy who helped us out at that place, right? So, he used to be a member of C's, huh? He seems okay, doesn't he? Koromaru-san told me something interesting. He said Shinjiro-san has been feeding him from time to time. Oh. So he has, uh... I guess, um... Some sort of partialness to... Animals. He's a kind man. Food Channel will be introducing you to another popular food. Last year the meal was consomme soup. What will it be this year? Coming up after these messages, Today's special report will be on Apathy Syndrome victims. You don't say. Shinjiro Senpai seems very strong. But is he dependable? I mean, he was at that place, and... I guess I'm just not very trusting. Yeah, one thing of note is that uh, when Akihiko mentioned Ken's name, Shinjiro basically shat his pants. So, <laughs> they clearly have a history with Ken. Although, maybe Ken doesn't realize it yet, or maybe he does. We shall see. I've been waiting for this day, Shinji. I'm ready for battle right now, in fact. <laughs> You're as hot-headed as always. Well, you better not fall behind. I'm gonna take it easy for today, but starting tomorrow, call me whenever. I truly am glad to have you back, Shinjiro. But I can't help wondering what motivated you to pick up your evoker once again. Something must have affected you profoundly. I won't ask you now, though. I appreciate that. Maybe someday I'll be in the mood to tell you. Okay. Alright, since it's Wednesday, we'll be hitting the arcade. Uh, but also, tomorrow we're going to hang out with Yukari, so I'm going to get a lover's persona.
Uh, bra, 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 bra. Oh yeah, I gotta pull up the fusion calculator. Let's see, what is the next lover's persona that we're going to be getting? Looks like Queen Mab. Oh wow, High Pixie and Hua Po, who we both have. Let's see, can we do anything with Ares? Um, Hua Po, Ares, and Slime appears to be one. Okay. Maybe I'll just call out Slime right now and then just get Huapo back. Um. Yeah, let's try that. Nice. All right. Uh, and it's going to get Rakarm, which is perfect. We definitely want that. Uh, wow, not too much in the way of attack spells, aside from Zeo. All right, I guess it is what it is. Call back Huapo out before we forget. It just doesn't automatically register, but it's the old quality of life problems that this game has. We got 25% of the compendium, too. I wonder what we'll end up with at the end of the game. Probably like 50, if we're lucky. Okay, let's hit the arcade, get our knowledge up. Over me. Ohio, you may have already heard this on the news, but 
the number of incidents has increased compared to those during the last full moon. Really? Something must be done. I don't know the reason for the increase. We'll just have to remain alert at all times. Things are just slowly getting worse, huh? Rats. Oh, what's up, Yukari? Speak of the devil? Oh, Makoto-kun, that class was so boring, don't you think? Yes. Hey, are you free after school? Yeah, I'm free. Then, let's go somewhere, if you have the time. Oh, I almost forgot I was going to the office. Well, see you later. Yeah, even though for this um, level of the social link we don't really need a persona, it's good to have it. Just practice. Oh, what's up, Igus? I have inspected the entire school, but I did not locate anyone suffering from apathy syndrome. Should I conclude that they are absent? Yes, certainly. I don't think they would be here if they uh, <laughs> were feeling like shit. Were you listening when she was talking about the culture festival? Yeah. Dude, a cafe is so lame. Why don't we do something fun? Like a heavy metal cafe. <laughs> You'll probably be the only one down to do that. What the heck? It's pretty rare for a hottie like that to transfer in at this time of year. Who are you talking about? Dude, get a clue. I'm talking about Igus. A mysterious babe like that. I want to know everything about her, starting with her measurements. Fucking yo. Okay. I'm talking to the guy that's sitting... for some reason. What the fuck? Alright, hold on. Can I just not talk to this guy? There we go. It must suck to be the new girl. The guy was monopolizing the fucking conversation. All the guys hit on you and pressure you right away. But I guess San seems fine. Er, okay. Hey. Are you walking back by yourself? I'll come with you. Yes, yes. Okay, we're at the flower store, I suppose. Hmm, lilies are too overpowering, and roses aren't really my thing. Maybe Gerberas? Oh, sorry. I'm looking at flowers for my room. Hey, I think I'm gonna go with Gerberas, but which color should I get? Pink's cute. You think so too? I love pink. I guess we have the same taste, huh? Then it's decided. I'll get him. Hmm. But, just Gerberas might be a little plain. What other flowers do you think would look nice? Oh. You've never seen my room, have you? Well, what good are you? It's messed up. Ha! Huh, but it's the truth. Actually, any flowers would be fine if they were from you, Makoto-kun. Wow, already. Psych! Hee <laughs> hee. Yukari seems to be full of laughter today. Yeah, behind every JK there's a bit of seriousness. Yukari seems quite relaxed talking to you, however you're still just friends. Wow, look at the time. I'm gonna check out a few more flowers before I go. 
But you don't have to wait. Alright, I guess I'll see you later, Yukari. Alright, I'm gonna save here because, um, just in case I need to redo preparation for the full moon, I want to be able to be able to do that. I haven't introduced myself, have I? I'm Shinjiro Aragaki. Don't worry. I got your back, but you're best to watch your front. Um, there will be a full moon the day after tomorrow. I'm sure another shadow will appear, so, please be ready. She was terrified just from Shinjiro introducing himself. Shinjiro, Akihiko, and I were all in seas when we were in middle school. A lot of things have happened since then, but... There's no need to doubt Shinjiro. I assure you that he's reliable. There's going to be a full moon soon. You should probably get the team ready to go. If you're looking for a change, you should add Shinji to the lineup. I think I will. You'll be surprised by his strength. <laughs> it's no big deal. I'll join you guys. I used to be a member of C's, and I'm your senpai. So you can count on me. Thanks, man. Arf. Koromaru-san told me something interesting. Oh, about him getting fed by Shinjiro. Shinjiro Senpai seems scary, but I think he's just misunderstood. I don't think he's a bad guy. I mean, he's good friends with Akihiko Senpai. True. Today's Cantonese word is how shona. Stretch and say how shona. How shona means tough. It's tough when someone you like tells you how shona. That's all for this week. Back to the news. Don't let apathy syndrome or the hot weather get you down. See you next time. Hey, that's what I say. That's the guy who helped us out at that place. Yeah, she said this already, right? Shinjiro-san kicks ass, man. With him back on the team, no one can beat us. Facts. My persona is good with light skills. Hama can take down any opponent in a second. Well, well maybe not any opponent, but... Oh, and it's also pretty good with electricity skills. But not as good as Sanada-senpai's persona. You don't say. Alright, since it's Thursday, we'll be hanging out with our favorite monk. I think we're at level 9, so... Looking to wrap up both his uh, social link and uh, Tanaka. So once those are done, the only thing that we'll really be doing at night is going to the arcade and then that's it. Oh, it's you. Well, have a seat, kid. Heh! <laughs> what a strange kid. Hey, sorry about, you know. Let's just forget about it, alright? Anyway, I'm sober today. So just sit down and listen to what this old monk has to say. All I gotta do is look all serious and recite the sutras and I can make easy money. At least, that's what I thought. So I begged to take over my parents' temple. But every day is the anniversary of someone's death. I'm working 24-7, as if my temple was a convenience store. Uh... I think these answers don't matter. Take a break. Oomph, I wish I could. But I have a strong sense of responsibility. I can't say no to someone who needs my service. But as you can see, I'm too I'm too busy. I got to push this old body of mine to the limit. Pushing a push. Maybe I should think of something else to do with my life. I can't keep this up for much longer. 
I've been drinking too much lately, making a fool of myself like I did the other day. <sighs> Hang in there. I know you're just trying to make me feel better, but thanks. Oh, how about this? Mutatsu is thinking. We never filed for divorce, and since I own the temple, we could all live there. I think it's a pretty good idea. I could retire and enjoy life for once. What do you think? I don't really care. What are you talking about? Oh, um, well... I'm thinking about asking them to come back. You know, my wife and my son. First, I gotta find out where they are. I'll hire a detective. I don't care how much it costs. You should look up fucking Yagami, bro. And when I see him, first thing I'm gonna do is tell him I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. I'm gonna be concentrating on this, so I probably won't be seeing you anytime soon. Uh, I've had enough of dealing with a punk like you anyways. G good riddance. That was convincing. Despite his harsh words, Mutatsu sounds like he's going to miss you. You understand Mutatsu better now. And I forgot to fucking save. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh well. I'll just save in another slot. And if I if I do need to go back, which I probably shouldn't, then I'll just I'll just do what I gotta do. If I knew I was gonna end up this way, I never would have become a monk. <laughs> Oh well, I guess I'll go to a detective agency tomorrow. Alright, let's get going, kid. It's unreal how I just fucking... Uh, keep forgetting to do shit the moment after I say it. Uh, let's study. I'm getting, like, fucking... These weird, uh... Dentist notification text for somebody else. Gotta make sure you give the right phone number for that kind of nonsense. Sup, dude. There's a full moon tomorrow. You remember? But this time will be tougher than the last. I heard. There's only four shadows left. Maybe they're getting nervous. Or maybe the next one is just insanely strong. Oops. Haha. <laughs> I shouldn't jinx it. Well, we can handle it. We got this, man. We got this by the ass. Um, Makoto-kun, are you free after school today? What a coincidence, we are. If you don't have anything to do, could you please come talk to me. I'll be at the usual place. Yeah, we're gonna hang out with you, Fuka. Aw, oh, shit, it's our favorite transfer student. I don't know, bro, sorry. Then I hope to see you after school. I can't make the kimono without you. Or without you. Sorry, I misspoke. Yo, Shidori. How's your hand? See anything? Uh, not even a scar. Did it heal that quickly? Hey Junpei, 
What do you do to make yourself feel alive? Uh, I don't know. Breathing, I guess. <laughs> Fucking guy. You know, I never really thought about it before. How about you, Chidori? Is that why you draw? Maybe. But most of these are just scribbles. I don't understand myself very well. I see. Mind if I sit here? To tell you the truth, there is one thing that makes me feel alive. When I get to play hero. In the darkest hour, unknown to all but a few, the chosen ones stand against the forces of evil. Our hero, Junpei, fights to protect the world from these terrifying monsters. <laughs> well, you get the idea. That's when I feel most alive. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> you're supposed to laugh. So, do you fight all alone? Hey, I, I, I was just kidding around. You fight during a time that no one knows about, right? So then, no one knows what you've been doing either. That means you'll never receive any recognition. I'm impressed. I didn't know you're that kind of guy. For real? You actually believe me? Tell me more. You really want to know? Okay, but don't tell anyone, all right? You see, there's this special power called Persona, and only those who have it can defeat the monsters. That's what I meant by the Chosen Ones. My friends are fighting too, and ever since I joined them, we've been kicking some serious ass. Sounds like fun. Are you the leader? Because it sounds like you're pretty strong. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I guess you could say that. Fucking guy, bro. I mean, <laughs> without me, things would just fall apart. Someone's gotta be in charge, after all. It's pretty tough being a leader. Thank you, Junpei. I had fun today. Y you did? It's time for me to go. I'll see you tomorrow, right? <laughs> tomorrow, huh? Alright! Dude is hype, but uh, he's definitely stretching the truth there. It seems that she knows what uh, what he's been doing in the dark hour. Well, of course she does, because I believe uh, we know what her allegiance is. I think it's been shown already, but I don't want to say too much more if it, in case it hasn't. Oh, Makoto-kun, are you heading home? Oh, thank you! Then, um, can we go to the rooftop? Let's check it out. I want to make something other than just rice balls. I don't mean to bother you, but... Would you mind helping me for just a little while longer, Makoto-kun? I started cooking because I wanted to thank everyone for what they've done for me. But, I need to know how to make more than just rice balls. I need to learn new recipes. I know it's a lot to ask. 
But if you're willing to help me, Makoto-kun, then I think I can become a great cook. So, Fuka appears to be pondering what she just said. So, will you continue helping me? Just for a little while. Okay. Really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. I just want to thank everyone for helping me find my place in the world. I just want to be as helpful outside of battle as I am during it. If I can do that, then maybe I can help you too, Makoto-kun. That's all I'm trying to do. Fuka isn't fully expressing how she feels to you. Oh, I think I just knocked something over. However, her feelings toward you do seem genuine. These relationships are so complex. Fuka considers you attractive. Oh. It's intensifying, huh? Uh, am I overreacting? Or <laughs> am I overdoing it? Fucking brain filled in the rest of that word. Sorry, I guess I'm the only one who can answer that. Uh, I'll see you later. Oosh! Where have you been? Tomorrow is finally the day. I'll make sure we win no matter what. I am very confident about tomorrow's operation. What with Shinjiro Kun rejoining us? I have no doubt we will be victorious. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, but such confidence can only lead to certain failure. While it's true that Shinjiro is quite powerful, he hasn't fought in a very long time. We must all concentrate on the task at hand and perform with flawless execution to win. <sighs> must you always be such a killjoy? <laughs> and just call her out. Why is Iori so excited about tomorrow? There's going to be a full moon tomorrow. I don't think that's anything to look forward to. I, you're fucking controlling the conversation too now, Mitsuru? There's going to be a full moon soon. You should probably get the team ready to go. Uh, yeah. Said that already. Shinji, you gonna say the same thing too? Give me space when I'm fighting. My aim's not that great, but if I hit an enemy, it's history. I don't play around. I destroy whatever's in my way. I'm here if you need me. Orf! International Convention introduced new technology called Nuclear. The process is so amazing that people have started to call it Nuclear. Okay. In today's special report, we'll investigate. What is this Nuclear? Shinjiro Senpai seems scary, but I think he's just misunderstood. Oh yeah, she said this already. My persona skills and, agil and agility progress fast, which is good, because that covers for my lack of power. Good. <sighs> I didn't think he could get any dumber, but... Hey, do you think we could just replace him? I mean, Shinjiro-senpai just joined us, so... You're kidding, right? Of course, I don't really want to replace him. I just wish he wasn't so annoying. <laughs> Fucking Christ. What's up, Makoto? Being a hero, so cool. I can't wait until tomorrow, dude. Junpei-san's current status is extreme happiness. I have learned how people describe that state in modern language. He has gone to La La Land. <laughs> yeah, I think that's accurate. I'm curious what Yukari would say if I said the other thing. Because we probably won't get another opportunity to, to deal, this, deal with this conversation. Uh, I was just kidding. I don't really want to replace him. I just wish he wasn't so much. He basically just says the same shit. Alright, I'm gonna save here. 
so that uh, if we die in the the uh, full moon operation tomorrow, we can um, at least just retry right from here, if if at all possible. And I'll call it a part here. As always, it's been real and it's been nice. In other words, it's been real nice. See you next time. <laughs>